quick video to look at this awkward Gibbs equation question. We've got a straight line graph and we've got to explain the significance of the gradient of the line and two points J and D. The first thing we'll do is get the Gibbs equation on the screen and we'll identify the Y and X values. So delta G is the Y value and T is the X value. The problem we've got is the fact that the Gibbs equation isn't written as y equals mx plus c. It's a bit jumbled up. So if we just get y equals mx plus c on the screen and then and we'll rewrite the equation so that the terms match up. So y is delta g, x is the temperature. So the minus delta s must be the m because that's multiplying the x term. And the c is delta h. So it's quite easy now because the gradient of the line, well that's m, so that's minus delta s. j is the y-intercept. You see the graph's cutting the line, the y-axis there, and so therefore j must be delta h. And finally the d value, so d is the point where delta g equals zero. So that's the point where the reaction is feasible, so we can just call that the feasibility point. So below essentially any temperature below D, um, the reaction is feasible because delta G is negative. Any point past D, so here, delta G is positive, so the reaction isn't feasible.